How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, you're watching Danibal Tech and today let's talk about Apple Watch. More specifically, how to make it faster. If, like me, you own an Apple Watch Series 2, Series 1 or even the original Series 0 as it's called, uh, and especially if you are running watchOS 4, you've, you have noticed that it's much slower than it used to be and the performance is not the same. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make it much faster than it is right now and especially fix an important problem that is that happens with the workout app where it's just so slow, so bad, it takes so much time to open and to load and everything and everything else. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna fix these problems, okay? I'm not gonna promise that it's gonna be a hundred percent, but I'm definitely gonna promise that it is much better than it is right now, and you'll definitely notice the difference, and you're gonna love it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first off, we're gonna start with our iPhones. So I want you to open your watch app. You're probably already familiar with it, and then we're gonna need to go to our general, then about, and then we're gonna see those two guys capacity and available okay so uh, it shows that your Apple watch has in capacity of 5.5 gigs and an available staller storage of 2.8 gigs and how important and why is that important that's important because uh, depending on the amount of data the amount of information the amount of music apps and things like that your device is gonna run slower and that's not only specific to Apple watches this is this happens with iPhones iPads MacBooks anything and how can you actually improve this uh, especially with two things first of all you're gonna need to go to your music okay uh, if you go to your music right here and then you're gonna see uh, your playlist maybe if you have albums right here added I just have this heavy rotation right there it's automatically put on my Apple watch but maybe if you have tons and tons of, of albums of artists and songs and your capacity is almost full it's a good idea to go ahead and manage this and delete some of that music to make your Apple watch faster so that's tip number one number two we're gonna talk about installed on Apple watch this falls on the same category, okay, uh, about storage and capacity and things like that. So I currently just have uh, this Hotels.com, Instagram, Keynote, Patriots, and Uber, okay. So in my in my uh, in my situation right here, I don't have tons and tons of storage on my Apple Watch, as you guys can see. Not a lot of music, not a lot of apps. But if you do, please go ahead and manage that and delete all of that information that is not necessary okay you will already notice your Apple watch much snappier and of course after doing that just turn off and turn back on your Apple watch okay now let me show you what you can do on your Apple watch you need to press your digital crown okay go to your main page with all your apps uh, then you're gonna need to settings okay uh, you're gonna scroll down to general scroll down again to I'm sorry to accessibility and then reduce motion okay so reduce motion will limit animation of the user interface okay again only do that if you're really feeling like your Apple watch is low because the interface the experience is gonna get a little bit more dull it's not gonna get that Apple effect that we all love but it may be necessary if your Apple watch is too slow so what will that do on like menus like that you won't notice any difference okay everything happens exactly the the way it always happens but if you when you press your digital crown for example it just like uh, almost like flashes okay so it just turns off and turns on and then it's already like that you don't have that effect of fading in and fading out uh, it's just more like raw okay so press again and then sorry press again and then your watch face disappears it doesn't have that zoom in zoom out effect but just this little thing and as you guys can see with when you're managing and scrolling through this uh, it doesn't feel as natural and as nice as it generally does when your motion is like uh, normal so uh, it feels like nothing it feels like it's not a big deal not important but it actually is quite important and it makes a huge difference something that I always especially notice is while opening the workout app right here and uh, it used to freeze all the time when I didn't have the reduced motion uh, thing on okay and now as you guys can see it just opens first go very fast 
and it is much much better so that's pretty much it please make sure to hit the like button down there press on my face to subscribe to my channel and i'm also gonna put a link of a video right here that i'm sure you're gonna love it that's pretty much that i see you guys next week bye bye